In today's video, I will talk about 8 tips which I personally find very useful for all my Google Meet meetings. Also, I will be sharing tips along the way and give my real life experiences, so do stay tuned as I share them with you. Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Steph. I run a production house here in Singapore doing photography, videography, live stream, and basically everything tech. Welcome to my channel. Before I start, I would like you to know that there are timestamps in this video, so you can skip to whichever part that you do not want to watch to save time. But I share bits and pieces of real life experiences here and there, so if you have the time, it would be good to watch the whole video. So now let's get down to the 8 tips. Number 1. Checking your audio, video, and testing to see if you look perfect for the meeting before you join as a participant. When you click on a Google Meet meeting and enter the lobby, you see this landing page. The first option here is to test your microphone. Mic test, mic test, one, two, three. The second option here is to test your speakers. If you hear a sound, it means your speakers are working perfectly. The third option here is to test your video and sound before you join. I'm just testing my audio and video. I'm just testing my audio and video. If your results are good, you are ready to join the meeting. Number two, changing your background for your meeting. You know, most of the time we have a messy background or if we are working from home and you do not want your colleagues or bosses to know, you can change the background for a more professional look. Or if you have a hideous green wall like mine, mouse over your video and you can see some options popping up. Select the middle option that says apply visual effects. Then you can select the background you want on the right. When you're done, you can remove all your backgrounds and effects by clicking the icon here and remove all. Number three, pin someone in your meeting. So what does pinning someone mean? You know, sometimes when you write an important note on a post-it and you want to put it somewhere obvious to remind yourself, it works the same way here. Say for example, if you have your boss talking during the meeting and you want to make sure he's important enough so you want to make him the focus. Mouse over and select the first icon. Once successfully pinned, you will see the blue circle move over to the pinned person in the meeting. And when you're done, hover the mouse over again and you can unpin by clicking on the first icon again. Number four, changing the layout of your meeting. Select the three dots icon here and change layout. You have the option of auto, tout, Spotlight and sidebar. Tout option is useful when you have a group of attendees talking to each other. And spotlight is useful when, for example, your boss speaks and you wish to make him the center of attention for your meeting. Sidebar is useful when you have your boss speaking, but you want to see who else, for example, your colleagues is in the meeting because they will appear at the side. Number five, share screen. For me, I use this option myself very often for meetings because I want to share some of my Microsoft Word rundowns or PowerPoint slides for upcoming events with my clients. Click on this icon that says present now. You will have the option of sharing your Chrome tab, window, or the entire computer screen. Do take note that if you wish to share audio, you can only share your tab. Number six. Record your screen. This option is only available for upgraded paid versions of Google Meet. So if you have a paid version, click on the three dots icon and select recording here. As you can see, I'm using the free account, so it says recording unavailable. Number seven, enabling captions in your meeting. This is a very interesting tip. You know, sometimes when we enter into meetings where it's not conducive, for example, you're in a noisy environment, and you don't have your earphones with you and you can't hear the speaker talk. In Google Meet, we have the captions option. 
click on the small CC icon here. And when the speaker talks, you will be able to see what he or she is talking with the pretty accurate captions generated. Hi, if you can see what I'm talking about, that means your captions are working properly. Number eight, improving your video quality for your meeting. Click on the three dots icon here and go to settings. Under video, you have the option to change the video resolution. The default is auto, but you can set it to high definition. Or if you have a low or slow internet connection, you can also decrease the resolution to standard or low. You can also select the receiving resolution here. So there you have it, 8 useful tips I personally use when I run my Google Meet meetings. After watching this video, you guys can take what resonates and leave what doesn't behind. At the end of the day, I just hope that you learned something, anything from today's video. I hope that you found this video today useful and if you like more of such videos, tips, sharing, hacks, whatever, let me know in the comments below what you would like to see in the future. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a like and that would mean so much to me. And as always, I'm Steph. If you have any questions, please let me know.